Hey, welcome to this tutorial on the grid toggle snap tool. And I'll just bring this script in. So it's a drag and drop. It's a relatively simple script. We should be able to drag and drop it into here. It's a dockable window and you can just dock it in place uh, just like that really. And we can get started with, with changing the grid size. So typically when you're in or working with uh, 3D objects, maybe like this or um, you know large environments, you'd have to you'd have to have like some sort of grid snap or modularity to the pieces to build um, an effective environment and you know the last thing you want to be doing really is coming through sort of placing e each individual piece you know lining it up the best that you can and and grabbing another one and you know perhaps rotating it a little bit and just changing changing that trying to get it in so the idea is you know you'd use a, a grid toggle like this which you'd be able to um, quickly adjust that grid and get the sizes that you need for your your design metrics um, you can you can toggle between the cm or meters so again you've got down here you've got uh, cm and if you just click that you'll notice that it changes uh, the values that also updates the measurement settings as well so it's not just the the display metrics it actually updates um, how big these objects are um, with this uh, in particular let's just jump on to um, creating this uh, so I think I've, I've put an editable poly in here let's just create a box and we'll start off with something super simple so let's just drag this out I'm gonna do uh, 40 by 40 by 40 and then what I'll do is I'll just drag on a material as well just so we've got something so typically when you're working with modular kits what you would do is we'd grab the pivot point um, ensure our snap settings are on so I'm just going to use the S key or you can click up here if you right click you'll get the options up here as well so if you right click on that we'll get those options up there and what you can do is you can just you know grab the make sure the vertex and the grids on and what we can do is just snap that into place whoops uh, clicks it off there we go so we can snap that into place let's uh, turn off the uh, pivot point and you can see now that the the grid it'll snap um with the grid setting the grid toggle you know you can place that to 40 and you'll see it'll give you the 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 the, uh, the grid size for 40 so what you would do then is you'd have another piece so for example um, we can get another piece and what we could do is with with that is we'll change the size of it to so say let's put um, you know 20 by 20 hit enter and then you know we'd have to obviously change the pivot point here so let's just snap that into place and then you know you've got your modular kit that can sort of snap together now the problem is, is, is with this modular kit, if you're working with different sizes, um, you're going to need a, a, a reference point here. And perhaps you haven't got the geometry in here to snap it to a piece of geometry. And yes, you could change this. You could change the pivot point over to here. But if you've got a large kit, a rather large kit, you're not going to want to move every single piece over to this, this side here. Every single piece is pivot point over to this side here. So what we could do instead is you can use the, the the toggle so we can just set this to 20 and that'll set it to 20 and then that'll snap into place for you and again you know if we did a, a another piece and you know we reduce this down so let's just grab this we'll do uh you know like something like 10 by 10 and again you've got another segment of wall we just have to change that that pivot point again snap it into that corner and you know, it's same sort of situation where perhaps you want it on the, 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 the rear side. We can just create another toggle and that'll snap into place for you. And you can also, if you've got quite large scenes as well, so perhaps you've got larger, larger scenes where you need a, a large grid, you can actually upscale the, the viewport grid as well. So you can see there where, you know, you can upscale this. It's maximum set to about uh, 1K. Well, it was one, 1K. Um, as you can see, if you do, go up too high it does become a bit noisy so I, I felt like 1k was probably you know suitable enough um you know to have 
as a, as a sort of adjustments for this and you can really tweak that um so yeah i mean obviously it, it's up to you how you want to use it uh, one unreal unit is is one centimeter or equates to one centimeter so if you're working with unreal and exporting modular kits out and and it's something you know you this is 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 useful in that sense then yeah and maybe for larger animation scenes and stuff um the kit's going to be you know it much easier to sort of you know maneuver and control um and yeah in addition to that you know you can grab these these pieces and you sort of scale them um and put them where you where you need really uh, and snap to that grid and you can sort of see where you sort of build up that modularity straight away to the grid and you know you can change the the settings as and when you need them and again you know you can come through for the bigger pieces we can come through and we can snap that and make sure it's aligned to the grid and then you've got a really nice space in there um and then again you know bring that through and snap that maybe it's a door area or something like that or this is going to be a destructible bit and it just snaps in place so yeah see see what you can do with it see see how you want to use it there's a sale on it at the moment so you can get it for free um so check out the the the, the website and stuff and you can you know you can have a look so um, if you click the link um, or, or check out the links, um, it should take you to the website. Um, it should be in the, the, the listed inside the, the, the shop shop area. And yeah, so if you, you have a look in there, it's sort of listed and, you know, you can get the kit. And uh, I'd be interested to see how you guys use it. You know, if you if you, you apply it in, in the same way, you know, is it going to be useful for animation, architecture or um, the, the, the game engine stuff as well? So it'd be good to, to hear any suggestions as well on the kit. If you, you know, uh, sorry, the, the, the toggle, um, any suggestions in the comments would be great. Um, to hear so i'd always be interested in your feedback and stuff as well um, but yeah i'll leave a link in in the description as always i'll see you in the next video um or i'll see you in the the comments so i hope you enjoyed it and you get some use out of it